Okay, so um, yeah, let me start with a few words uh, about myself. Um, I'm I'm quite a long time already in the in the printing industry. Um, so I actually uh, studied uh, printing technologies at the University um, of Stuttgart, and um, after that um, worked for the the German FTA, so the Flexographic Technology Association, uh, like four years as a lab engineer. And then I went into product management at, at Heidelberg, so sheet fit offset. And uh, finally uh, landed in in Hamburg, so that's that's where we have uh, our headquarter of Tesa. Tesa itself has uh, 125 years of experience uh, in in production of tapes, so coding and uh, converting. Actually, we belong to um, a group uh, which is called Biostorf. You might have heard of. They have other big brands like uh, Nivea on, under their roof, and. Uh, um, well, Tesa itself is, is also a big brand, uh, especially in our home market, like 98% of the people uh, would understand when you talk about Tesa, uh, what we mean with this. So in total, we, we have close to 5,000 employees worldwide. Of course, not all of them are engaged with the printing industry. I would say uh, rather a, a, sh a smaller uh, share of, um, but we are active in many different parts uh, not only in the in the consumer part uh, where the most people uh, know our name for actually the most of our turnover we do um, in industry applications like 80 percent and we are big in automotive industries in electronics and so on so like all the last models of iphone ipad whatsoever uh, also contain tesa tape which is which was quite new for me the time when i went when i joined tesa to see so many applications so let's let's come to the core um, um, so we have a division which is called flexo print and paper um, who is dealing specifically with the graphics market and um, actually more than 100 people are dealing with this industry inside uh, tesa we also have a dedicated r d which i don't count into this um, the 100 plus is uh, more our um, our technical sales specialists in the markets um, who are uh, supporting customers in their choice for the right products. So, and uh, yeah, the main applications are actually plate mounting. So what we, we're gonna talk about today or the special application here is uh, even with a salvative sleeve with twin lock, uh, but also other applications are big like flying splice and I can tell there are, there are so many more applications, smaller ones, but it's not worth to um, look into this now. Now let's come let's come to our today's topic: um, Twinlock by Tesa. What is Twinlock? Twinlock is, as you can see on the picture, actually a sleeve. It's a self-adhesive sleeve. So, in difference to the market standard, which is a hard-coated sleeve, um, you have kind of the tape already implemented into this. So you have a sticky surface where you can mount the tape on. And what you have to do is to, to, to have to clean the surface to, to activate it, meaning to keep the, the stickiness, uh, to prepare it for the next job, to prepare it for the next plate to be mounted on the top. Yeah, and then you can use it again and again and again and again. So um, this uh, feature at the end, so it's 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 sticky the surface, and um, you can reactivate it again and again, is leading us to the uh, um, biggest benefit you can get from Twinlock, and this is um, the the cost savings. We come to the first point. Um, so the overall headline of this presentation uh, was um, efficient, smart, and green. And I would like to start with the efficient point. So uh, what is efficiency for me is is the, the, the ratio of what I, what I put in, so what I invest into something and what I get out of it. So the investment, um, if you look into what is written here, the cost of a twin lock sleeve is more or less, uh, as a sum rule, uh, double the price of a standard sleeve, uh, to give you an idea of this. And first of all, if people hear this, mm, yeah, they're of, of course, they're not convinced right from the start. So uh, to give you a number, standard sleeve in wide web, uh, usually you would pay for uh, 400 euro, and uh, double would mean 800. And if you think to invest into or equip a whole press, 
uh, instead of 150,000, you would think of 300,000 in budgeting. That's quite something, yes. But cost is only uh, one side of the medal. Of course, you need to think of uh, the, a good return on investment case, and then it's getting relative because we see a quick amortization. So I cannot throw um, a clear number here because it, it will be different in each and every case. Yeah? And even when we, when we look into this and explain uh, to our customers what they can save um, with TwinLock, um, we usually are calculating the, um, the square meter of tape they're using uh, per mounting job. Uh, we add the, the cost per square meter and so on. So at the end, you have an idea how many times you must uh, use a twin lock sleeve to come to kind of a break even. So uh, when, how many, uh, how often you need to use it. Uh, can be, for instance, to give you a reasonable number in, in a wide web application, can be 80 times. So again, everything is relative. If you're using this sleeve set, this repeat, um, like every day, and this is this is possible in, in, in Flexo printers, um, then 80 times it's, I mean, you have your return on investment within three months, which is super low. This might not be working for um, all the repeats, um, but it's just to give you an idea. On the other hand, when people are using this repeat just once a year, of course, that's not a good case. Yeah. But this is this is how, how we are supporting um, our our clients uh, to find um, the right balance uh, when looking into twin lock investments. Yeah, what are your benefits here? I mean, you don't need to buy tape. This is always when when I come up with this statement that people look at me and say like, "Hey, uh, you are a tape, tape supplier. Uh, how how can you how can you tell this?" Um, I mean, we good things always push through. Yeah, and uh, we strongly believe in TwinLock. And one of the later charts, I even called it like the the, the future uh, in in plate mounting, and um, it is from um, when you look at it carefully and um, 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 consider the, the, the right things, all the things I'm going to go through, it is the best solution you can go for in this market. It's not suitable for each and every one. We know about this. But for many, many clients, we think this is a very good offer. And um, we, before, before someone else will sell it to you, we want to sell it. So and this is why we went for this acquisition, which is quite um, I would say two years old now, and um, we are happy to offer this now as part of our assortment. So we are very positive about this. Uh, I will also summarize it at the end of my presentation. Relieving purchasing department. So we, we touched COVID-19 uh, uh, in, the, in the presentation before. I can tell, so at the moment, um, the good thing, what I hear back from, from our clients at the moment is that um, they are not lacking work, so they, they have more than enough to do for them. It's more a problem that um, they need to concentrate to find somewhere in industry, ethanol, for instance, yeah, because this, this is also used for disinfections and, and so on. Um, so anything which they can save time on, so they don't need to order and store and, and uh, run after uh, stocks of, of tapes, for instance, in this case, is helping. So they can focus on uh, what is important and uh, don't need to run after tape. If you have twin lock sleeves in your warehouse, you can just keep working with them. Significant less garbage. So also garbage uh, creates cost. Yeah? So someone has to pay for this. It's maybe not the biggest cost factor. It's really about uh, whether I have to buy tape or not for each and every mounting. But at the end, it adds up. And um, it will also uh, get a round story at the end if we talk about um, the green side of TwinLock. So overall, each and every time you use TwinLock, you're saving money. Smart, what is smart? For me, smart is something which, which makes my life easier. And we have it, uh, well, a lot of things around us are getting smarter and smarter. I have a smart watch, uh, I have some, some uh, smart home applications, and I, I really enjoy this. Yeah. So in, in a FlexoPress, what can be smart is, um, for instance, um, 
printing defects, which usually turn up, um, can be uh, compensated by a kind of, and I would call it now, intelligent form. Yeah. So, and this is this is what I want to focus on here. So we we are looking at, as you can see on the picture with this uh, uh, magnified circle, um, it is an open cell polyurethane foam. And that is different from what you get in the market. So our plate mounting tapes are standard polyethylene tapes as the other tape suppliers offer this. Um, and first of all, what I, what I want to um, make you sure of is that um, it's not only about the formulation and the construction of the foam, it's also about the buildup. So we have on the right-hand side, you see um, the sleeve uh, on the bottom. Then on that, you have this, this foam, which is three, three times the thickness of a standard tape. So a standard tape in a 500 micron category on the one hand compared to 1.5 millimeter buildup with our polyurethane foam. And alone from, from this factor, you can imagine that the dampening is way different. Yeah, superior damping. And this, this is actually, it's scientifically proven that when you compare a PU foam versus a PE uh, foam, that the dampening is way better with a PU foam. What it means for the press, I can tell in a minute. And lasting recovery. So a PU foam um, can recover again and again and again over a very, very long time. So we have sleeves in the market longer than 10 years and the people are still using it. So the, the recovery is not lost with a twin lock sleeve. It's not lost with the PU foam. The benefits. So now very specifically, um, yeah, you don't need to change the tape in long runs. So we have customers uh, and, and some of them are telling us with standard tape, um, let's say they have a job with a run length of 200,000 meter uh, or even longer, let's say, 200,000 meter plus, they have to ch change the tape in between um, because it's losing uh, its ability to recover. And this is causing problems in the press. So with twin log, long run jobs, perfect setup. It will uh, run and run without problems so that the printers can concentrate on other things all around the press. Superior vibration compensation. So specifically here, um, and we have kind of a proof. So th this is something actually I, I always like to say, we cannot guarantee it. So in some cases, people come to us and say, hey, I have, I have uh, um, uh, problems in my press with, with bouncing. And uh, this, this can be so bad that they actually they, they cannot sell this, this product to the market. Um, in many cases, we can solve this. Uh, but not in all. Yeah. So what we can guarantee is about the cost savings. This um, is um, the best what you can use against, uh, but uh, I want to be very open so we cannot solve all of the cases. So this is what I mean with um, this, this bouncing effect on the top. You can see those lines and um, in the bottom is what we would like to see. It's a in specifically in, in flexo printing, a, a, um, a problem since we have this raised elements uh, which, which are printing. So can happen here easily. Another proof um, or an idea I can give you about this is um, you can actually run your jobs faster in many cases. So our biggest client worldwide is Tetra Pak. You also have an affiliate in, uh, in Serbia, which is a Tetra Pak, uh, is a, sorry, a Twinlock user. And um, they can run their presses very fast. So I hope there are some uh, flexo printers tuned in. To think uh, for a short time about how fast you can run your press. I will give you a second. And then I will tell you how fast actually the um, Tetra Pak is running up to 600 meters. 600 meters per minute. That is super fast. And I want to be honest, I have not found this in any other um account so far i've been visiting in this industry okay so we are on the next side already now we come uh to the to the last part um so we talked about efficient um we talked about smart and um twin is also green of course waste reduction 
we uh, we are saving tape. So this is what uh, I told you earlier. And um, to make it a bit more visible, uh, actually for one of our new clients um, recently, we calculated um, in a model that um, their savings of tape over a full year would look like, uh, think of a ball, which is made of foam, so which is uh, the, the tape transformed into this ball with a diameter of six meter. So standing in front of you, um, this is what they are saving each and every year. So and that's not everything. It's not only about the tape. Um, you you saving the liner. The liner is this this uh, cover film or paper on the top of a, a double sided tape. Uh, the core uh, where the, the product is all wound up. Uh, the outer packaging which is a cardboard. The shrink wrap. The pallet and so on. So many things you don't uh, need to put uh, into the garbage. So what is the benefit here? Um, as I said before, Twinlog is a very positive technology and it helps you to reduce your CO2 footprint. And um, it is taken very posit positively uh, by the people. So, and we are also supporting if a cust customer is interested into that, that we are coming up with some kind of co-branding, meaning that we are publishing uh, news um, that we have a, a new, that we won over a new uh, user for Twinlock, and um, I'm going to show you on the next chart uh, one of those stories, which covers actually everything, not only the, the green part, but also the other positive um, facts. So, and simply a good feeling. Yeah. So I, I must say, uh, I'm always glad when when we find new customers working with Twinlock. It gives me a really good feeling uh, about it because, yeah, I mean, you don't need to. Uh, uh, travel in a nutshell over the Atlantic to make a statement. No, you can uh, you can decide for Twinlock and make the world better. So this is this is one of the cases I would like to share with you. Um, last year, Christiansen Print in, in Germany, that's a, a big printer, uh, made a whole transition. So totally turning uh, back on on tape to Twinlock within three months which was, I mean, from a, from a project management point of view, really uh, very demanding. Um, but but TESA and the colleagues in Germany were able to manage this together with the customer. Very impressive. They own, in total, 350 TESA twin lock sleeves. And when you look at the picture, you will see those huge cylinders, which is very impressive. That's um, It's not typical for the industry, but um, I'd like to take this case here because I would also uh, like to point out that there are actually no limitations. Yeah? So also in, in uh, wide applications, in, uh, in very big repeats, like you see here, we are able to code sleeves with Twinlock. Yeah, and Christiansen Print, for instance, they save like eight football fields of tape every year. Yeah? So another picture I would like to uh, send out with this, uh, besides this huge ball of six meter diameters, um, eight football fields, tape saved every year. And yeah, this has to do with this bouncing compensation. Also them, um, they confirmed they were able to run the presses faster, 20 to 30% higher press speeds. And also such is at the moment very interesting, as I said before, that uh, a lot of printers have, have rather too many jobs. And so they would love to see if they could run their jobs even faster to do more a day. And two and a half years for the return on investment here. So it can be like this. So that's maybe not the, uh, the most Im impressive uh, number here. But as I mentioned before, um, it can be very fast with some of the repeats people are using often. With others, it might take longer. And um, in this case, the, the customer liked the product so much that they said, yeah, even though we have some sleeves with us, obviously we are using not so much, we will go for the full transition. So very nice, very positive case. I come to my summary. Um, efficiency, yeah, it's about uh, saving cost. And um, if you're interested into uh, twin dock technology, then we have our technical state specialists around who will support you in analyzing uh, 
uh, and coming up with a business case, doing the return on investment calculations to make it understandable if this uh, or how TwinLock can help you. Smart, smart. Yeah, it's it's making it's making um, the life of a printer easier. Actually, we also were recently coming up with uh, some advertisement where we uh, showed very relaxed printers, and uh, the statement was no worries. And that's that's about uh, TwinLock. Yeah. What I even di didn't mention in this presentation was TwinLock sleeves also have a very good um, accuracy, which will help. To, to come into register very fast for the press. And once the press is running, as I said, very stable runs, uh, uh, no big changes in, in density. So the printers can really um, think of um, other issues. They can prepare next jobs and so on. So therefore, printers like it very much. Yeah, and it's green. That's not only the color of the surface, obviously. I think it was easy to understand um, what you can save here with these two models and explanations I gave you. So before I come to the end of my presentation, uh, I will also like to give you some references. Um, it's not, tw TwinLog is not, not something for, for um, selective crazy people. No, it's, it's, uh, it has a wide, a wide range of customers. So you can use it from narrow web over mid web uh, into wide web. So we have in all applications, uh, customers from um, cardboard um, over paper to flexible packaging. So TwinLog is actually for everyone. Um, I can also give you some names. So um, in Serbia, for instance, um, we have Tetra Pak I mentioned earlier, fully equipped with um, TwinLog sleeves, more than 1,000 pieces. And uh, we have Tipo, Plast Tipo Plastica with more than 300 sleeves also. And uh, when you look on that map here all over Europe, um, where everything started is actually in the Netherlands. This is where we produce those sleeves. And in whole Benelux, we can, we can tell like uh, we have a market share of 80% in plate mounting. So it's absolutely market standard. Uh, also Scandinavia, about 70%. Um, then in all the other countries um, in, in Western Europe, um, they have in France, in England, in Germany, in Spain, everywhere uh, customers. Also, Poland uh, has quite some uh, users. And in nowadays, we find almost in each and every country an account. And yeah, it doesn't stop. So this is why we're here also explaining about. Good. So on, on my last chart, I want to I wanna, um, introduce some of my colleagues. Uh, first of all, Dragan. Uh, Dragan is responsible uh, for the Serbian and, and uh, also for Montenegro uh, for those markets. And for all um, local requests uh, concerning those markets, please directly contact him. He's a very experienced guy, uh, long, long time with TESA and uh, a very good uh, tennis player, by the way. At least he keeps telling this to, the, to, uh, this to me. Uh, maybe you can find out <laughs> for yourself. Then we have Martin Kwapi. Uh, Martin is um, one of our top TESA TwinLock specialists. So he's a long, long time already with TwinLock, uh, also uh, more close to the very beginning, uh, where it all was founded uh, under Polymount. And uh, yeah, quite some time with us now, about two years since this acquisition. So for all specific questions about TESA TwinLock, um, I would suggest to get in contact with him. Yeah, and last but not least, uh, me. Uh, I can also <laughs> answer some questions, uh, but I would uh, limit myself here as the uh, two other colleagues can do this uh, even better. I would limit myself if there is anyone um, now listening, listening to this presentation from um, somewhere in the world and uh, is trying to create contact to our colleagues, we are active worldwide, then please let me know and I can forward your request. Good, so I'm done from my side and uh, more or less in time I see. And if there's time left, I uh, would be glad to answer some questions. <laughs>